so I have a bit of a confession to make. I've never read Harry Potter. <laughs> For some reason, we just didn't do that in my family. So now I'm in college, and my college rebellion got a copy from the library <laughs> of the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. I've been trying to prepare for it the best I can. Uh, I asked a bunch of friends what house I would be in since I don't really know much about like whatever the houses are. Uh, I think I think I've gotten two Slytherins, um, a lot of Hufflepuffs, a lot of Ravenclaws. I've never gotten Gryffindor, so I don't know what that says. Maybe I'll find out. Like I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to like kind of figure it out and be like, oh, this is fun. So let's get started. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, we're very proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Wait, so Harry Potter is famous? <laughs> I always thought, okay. Huh, that's weird. This book is definitely very interesting and different than what I had pegged it for. I don't know, I didn't realize that Harry Potter was famous. I just thought he was like some random dude who just got the letter and went to wizard school. But no, it's, it's actually kind of interesting. Alright, so I just finished and I wrote down all my observations on a little note card here while I was reading. Because I don't want to stop reading to like film stuff, but like at the same time I was like, I should probably be saying stuff about this. So, <laughs> here we go. Okay, so yeah, I really like Hagrid. I think he was really cool. Favorite character, non-problematic fave. We like him, we stand. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why he liked Ollivander. I thought he was cool. I thought it was really fun how he like knew what each wand did and he like knew immediately like what scar caused that, no, what wand caused that scar, like what things, I was like, yeah, maybe it was supposed to be creepy, but like it didn't creep me out. It was like, that's so, so cool. So if I was choosing a wand, I would have gone with the ebony and unicorn hair one. That sounded really cool. I was like, give it to me. I hope he chooses that one. And then he didn't. And I was like, okay, that's all right. Remind he reminded me of myself as a kid because I too was annoying and know it all. But I don't know, I, it was weird. It was like, oh, that's like young patience before I like got mature and stuff. I, oh, the hat. I wrote this down. I said, the hat just sang a song. And here's what I've gathered from the hat song. This is what like, so like, this is straight from the books. So here's what I think the houses are. So like Hufflepuff, they're loyal but stupid. So. Even Clover, the smart people, so. I guess it's okay. Um, Slytherin, the ends justify the means, so I guess they're kind of evil. Like, the only thing we really get for them is that, like, the ends justify the means. So I'm like, hmm, it's a little bit problematic to be like, you, little children, you, you kid over there, you want to, like, not fully formed. You're evil. You're evil, buddy. You're gonna hang out here with all your evil friends. I know a lot of people identify as Slytherins, and it makes me wonder, like, why? You know, because, like, their only trait is that the ends justify the means and they're evil. So... I mean, maybe I don't know my friends as well as I need to. Um, oh yes, uh, and the Gryffindor were daring and brave. So no one no one said I was that, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for the sorting hat thing, that was kind of weird because Neville didn't seem brave at all. At all. Um, yes, no, or daring at all. And that's like Gryffindor's whole thing. And they were like, the hat sees what's inside, but like, these are all external traits, not internal traits. If someone was like, I feel like a loyal person, but like they were really mean to their friends in real life, should they be in Hufflepuff? Of course not. Of course not. Because they're not like, they're not actually that thing. They just feel like they are. And that's like, I don't know, because then like you never get any Slytherins, because they get like the narcissist. People would be like, oh yeah, I'm so brave. I'm tough. I'm normal. And people would be like, yeah, we're going to put them in Gryffindor or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Hermione should have been Ravenclaw because she's like literally the definition of Ravenclaw. Like she's like the hard studying, like smart person. Like that's like Ravenclaw's only thing. So like I feel like she should have been there. <laughs> Another thing I noticed that's like kind of dumb, but I was reading for like the feast descriptions and like it would stink to be vegan at Hogwarts. Like what, what are you gonna eat a potato? Like oh the steak and the, the steak pie. What am I going to eat, Professor Dumbledore? Well, you can have a potato, Trotter Trumbly. Oh, okay. Okay, so for my predictions that I had while I was there, I predicted that Snape was there at the house, but then he wasn't because it was Quirrell. So I guess that was, that was a faulty prediction. Let me see what other predictions did I have. 
Oh, yeah, I thought that something was weird with Quirrell. I thought he was possessed by Voldemort, but that he was actually a good person. But, like, so that was kind of the case, but, like, also kind of not. I thought he was possessed, like, during the year he took off. I thought that was a little bit suspicious. Those were my two predictions. Um, both of them were wrong, but that's okay. That's okay, because that's what the next book's for, right? I feel like breaking into Gringotts would be easy. Like, everyone's like, oh, it's so difficult. I'm like, yeah, it's difficult, because you're thinking in the box you're thinking like oh i would have to physically go down into the vault and like physically rob the bank no literally all you do you have magic you have this like transfiguration thing right where you can take like the match and you can turn it into an evil well you could just take like a piece of paper turn it into a key that's all they did that's all they did they didn't even need a letter they only needed a letter for dumbledore's thing you turn it into the key and say here you go here's the key i'd like blank and blank's account just like find out the name of their vault and just take it you give the goblin a key and then like bam it's easy they take you right to it they unlock it right for you you don't need to worry about a thing so easy but like if you physically broke into labyrinth that's so much harder literally all you need to do is just like pretend to be them it's it's that easy it's that easy or you could like instead of breaking in if you wanted to do the breaking entering thing you don't even need to break into the bank you could just break into the person's house i mean i don't i don't know i feel like it's a lot easier than i think you can see my point is that if you really wanted to do it you could and you would and you would get away scotch-free no one could prove it no one could prove it was you heck you could like do a transfiguration spell on your own face boom there you go perfect disguise no one knows also while we're on the topic of robbing max this is the last thing i'm gonna say on this topic i promise but like there's got to be some kind of currency exchange between like human money and like wizard money because i'm sure like wizards have like a cover job or something that they work and they don't just earn wizard money so like what you could do was just like use your magic to rob a human bank and that would be easy it would be easy peasy because you have magic and then you can just stock exchange it up you know blah 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 now you got wizard money exchange for your human money so i'm not saying if i was a wizard i would rob gringotts but i could just to see if you could you know just to see if like you could get away with it okay let me see what else we got here uh neville reminds me of ravenpaw if you've ever read warrior cats ravenpaw vibes uh hermione and ron i don't know i feel like they were trying to set up hermione Hermione and Harry, but like Hermione and Ron. We could get an enemies to lovers going there. I feel like I feel like that could be really good. I don't know. I feel like they had some chemistry, so we'll see. They probably won't do it. Harry's the main character, so they're like, Harry gets the girl, but like I mean I mean Hermione and Ron were pretty cute together. The quarrel thing was actually a pretty well set up plot twist. I didn't see it coming, but like now that I look like all the signs were there, I top notch. That was good. No complaints. No complaints. Um, the last thing, where Slytherin won the cup and they were like, yay, woohoo, gonna have a celebration. All the Slytherin people were like partying up, like woohoo, everything was decked out in like silver and green. And then like Dumbledore comes up and he's just like, haha, just kidding, congratulations Slytherin. But guess what? It was actually, I'm gonna go with some last minute points to give Huff, Huff to give Gryffindor the exact amount of points they need to beat you, ha ha ha. Be it just seems like mean and kind of unfair. I don't know, I'm sure I'm not the first person to say this, but like, you can't do that you know if it was like a pre-set amount of points and they did that before they ran the totals that would be okay but the fact that he gave them the exact amount of points needed to win and to beat this other house that had already been like celebrating and worked really hard for this that seemed a little bit unfair to me just just, just, a, smidge, just a little bit so if i was there if i was i would have been mad i would have been like not a chance bud but like, there's nothing you can do because he's the headmaster like what, what are you gonna do turn him into a frog no you can't so Maybe you could rob his green goss account. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yep. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's that's Harry Potter. I Those are my thoughts. I read it. It was pretty good. One thing I really, really, really loved was how she, like, used the description to kind of, like, place you there. Like, I can see how people would be like, it's not super well written. But, like, I hate it when people say that. Because, like, who cares? Who cares? Well written is about how well, like, you get into the story. And it's about how, like, the pacing flows. And it's about how, like how you feel when you're there. And I feel like that had that, and that makes that a good book for me. It was good, I liked it. Anyway, that's Harry Potter. I'm going to put the next book on hold, but until then, like, share and subscribe, and this was a person who's never read Harry Potter, reads Harry Potter, bye.